and welcome to 3 Minute Maths. In this particular video we're going to be looking at a vector problem where we've been asked to calculate the vector x, y. Well, we don't know anything about x, y, but what we do know is we can go around the houses. So I can go um, vector x, 0, so that's along here, and then from 0 to y, so plus vector 0, y. Well, let's have a look at that in a bit more detail. We know that x0 is 2a plus b, but we're going in the opposite direction. So therefore, I've got minus 2a plus b. Now, I would suggest that you do it this way, that you put the minus outside the brackets, because this minus will have an impact on the 2a part of it, and also on the positive b side of it. Okay, so we're now here, and we're going to go from here to here. Well, that's fairly straightforward. We're going to add that to 4a plus 3b. And then it's just a case really of removing the brackets and then gathering up the like terms. So if I remove the brackets here, I'm going to get minus 2a minus b. Okay, just be really careful about that because it trips people up quite a lot. And that's going to be plus... 4a plus 3b. Okay, so now I'm going to gather up the like terms together and I'll end up with minus 2a plus 4a is going to give me positive 2a and then I've got minus b plus 3b and that's going to be plus 2b. Okay, so in other words, in this particular question, vector xy, which is this one over here, is going to be 2a plus 2b heading in that direction. Okay, hope that's all right for you. And what you'll find is, is when you get to the next part of the question, generally speaking, you need to use this bit of information. So, um, they're asking us to do OZ. Well, again, I don't think about OZ, but I do know I can go from O to X and then X to Z. Okay, so vector OZ is going to be vector OX plus vector X Z. Okay, well, let's have a look at that. Well, OX is all right, and we know that. That's going to be 2A plus B. And then I've got XZ. Now, I've got to be a little bit careful about this because I know that XZ is going to be XY plus YZ. Well, I don't know YZ really, or do I, because the information I'm being given is that I have this ratio here, which means that x to y is two parts and y to z is three parts. So in other words, this is also the same as two-fifths of the way, and this is three-fifths of the way. Well, if this is two-fifths of the way, it means then that I can calculate this one over here. So I've got 2a plus b for oz, that's perfectly fine. Um, xy, I've got 2a plus 2b, so I've got that, 2a plus 2b is xy. Now, if you imagine that if this is two-fifths of the way, then three-fifths of the way is going to be 3a plus 3b. Um, I hope that's okay for you. So I've got this kind of... Um, vector here where 2a plus 2b is two fifths of the way so this must be 3a plus 3b over here and then it's just a case of gathering up those like terms together so I've got 2a plus 2a plus 3a well that's going to be 7a and then I've got plus b plus 2b plus 3b is going to be plus 6b. So vector OZ is going to be equal to 7a plus 6b. All right, now I appreciate that's a little bit tricky as a, as a, a video to follow. I hope it's been okay for you, but there is a playlist with a few more examples of these sorts of videos and these sorts of questions. Please do add a comment below if you're not sure, and I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.